today, I'm going to show you how to replace your five hub bushings per side on your XP tracked models. Start by breaking the jam nut loose when the crack comes in. And back it out about all the way. Next, using an inch and an socket and impact, you're going to relieve all the spring tension. Next, you want to use a 15 16 socket and wrench to loosen, but not remove, the two pillow block bearing bolts. You'll have to get your 15 16 wrench behind the sprocket onto the nut. And to do that, you can put your wrench in here, you can kind of turn the sprocket until you create enough clearance. And that's to get your wrench in there. With your wrench in there, you can now use your impact to loosen each Bolt. Move on to the next one. With the bolts loose, you should be able to pull back on the track, creating slack in the track. You should be able to move this whole assembly ever so slightly and push it all the way to the hub until this gap is closed. You'll then want to take a three quarter inch wrench and remove all five nuts. nuts are removed, you want to again verify your assembly is pushed all the way forward, exposing as much of the bushing as possible. You then you should be able to grip it and pull it out. You may have to lift up and down on the assembly a little bit, drive shaft, to then slide pushing out. Now I'm doing it by hand, but you may need a players to get them out. If you can't get at the bottom one, you may need to rotate the whole assembly. Fifteen sixteen wrench on the sprocket bolts. You can rotate it clockwise until it gets to the desired position. Now that you've rotated it to access the last bushing, 
Should be able to pull it out, possibly still lifting up on the track to relieve any pressure. Or in this case, you're able to just spin it and it'll come out. And I'm moving the drive shaft assembly to relieve any pressure. install the five new bushings. Along with the five new half 20 nylon jam nuts. You'll tighten them up so they're just snug and the transmission wants to turn. There, you do not want to over tighten those bushings. Snug, just about once to turn the transmission. Again, do not over tighten the bushings. Next, you want to pull the whole assembly while it's still loose, just so you have a little clearance on each side of the hub. You also want to make sure it's level and not kicked one side or the other. Once it looks pretty good all the way around, we'll then tighten up the 15 sixteenths. Once your hub spacing is set, you're going to want to tighten up each of your pillow block bolts using a 15 sixteenths impact and a wrench. impact, you want to drive it in until it's two and three eighths from the black box to the gray spring.